Hello. So what is going on guys? It's Triple G here back with another Tribes of Midgard video and in today's video we're going to be going through our warden guide so earlier on we released the seer guide and it's been very very well received so we're going to do the warden next as we cycle through all of the classes in tribes of midgard and give you an idea of what you should be looking for guys if you enjoyed this video please consider liking commenting or subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we're streaming five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video so the Warden alongside the Seer is considered a S tier class. It is very, very powerful both as a solo player and as a co-op player, particularly as a co-op player because you can take on all the building and the crafting and save your team a tremendous amount of resources and souls. So let's start with the starter kits though. The starter kit that I usually go with is the village starter set. However, there are some other good viable options as well. The feral starter kit will give you a significant damage increase while you don't have any armor on. So that is a good solid choice for you as well to go for a glass cannon build. In terms of the skill tree, whilst there isn't a lot of damage bonuses to the warden, the warden's greatest strength is its complete durability eradication from the tree and it's discounted crafting and selling so the first thing that obviously you're going to do when you level up is to get the waystone here travel back and forth with the waystone now this is a, a nice option but i just don't use it if i'm honest so it's a skill that just doesn't really get much use even if you are in an underpass you still only go back to the entrance so you could like go down to level three of the of the dungeon or the the hideout and you still would go back up to the top anyway so it's not really that great of a function but the first skill i would recommend that you do get is actually the crafting skill you want to be decreasing your crafting skill straight away now for the one of the reasons for that is obviously when you're out and about and on day one and day two you're going to get a new axe a new sword quite regularly so decreasing that cost straight away is really really nice because you're going to go through a white then a green and a blue and it's only when you get to the green and the blue do you want to start worrying about durability so while there is an s tier here we're going to wait so we're going to do two skill points into the crafting to get our 30 percent reduction okay this will mean that we can grab all those resources and we're going to be able to craft ourselves some armor if we if we want to and more importantly we're going to be able to craft our weapons this also negates the fact that if you do have a rough rng spawn and you can't find a lot of resources you've reduced that cost so therefore you can get those weapons and armors a little bit faster once you have got those two perks, then it is all about the durability of Dwarven Maid. Dwarven Maid is an absolute S tier perk. Complete and utter immunity to durability is an absolute game changer. You won't have to jump out of Fenrir in the middle of a fight. You won't have to break away from your defense in the middle of a fight to repair. It's absolutely brilliant. It is just a great skill. Then I recommend that you get the Haggler. That is for buying and selling. So buying 25 or less souls for, for cost and selling for 25% more. Now what this works really well with is once you have your quarry up, you've started your defenses, you've got that bridge going. Once you have reached the maximum that you need for the quarried stone, the ore, everything, all that resources is still going into a community chest, meaning that you can take those resources out and go and sell them for profit at a vendor across the map once you sell them bring them back to your base you can make your defenses better with your gates with your archer towers you can make spare armor if you want you can just do exactly what you want with the amount of souls you need you could even go for the achievement of holding 10,000 souls once you have gained the haggler skill then it's back down to the stairway of asgard this will unlock the ability to constantly build however there is a downside that they do decay over time but the decay it's probably around about 30 seconds so that's more than enough time for you to jump up and over whatever it is you need to and then get back down so the next point distribution it means you've got two points and those two points you can do with what you want so they you can match them up to the weapon types depending on what you have got i like to wait and see what jotun i have killed and therefore what weapon i can use and therefore i always kind of go for the boulders blade but there are choices there depending if you're a bowman an axeman or whatever the final point will be here in potion stacker this will increase your max stack of potions by one so instead of being able to carry three you'll be able to carry four which is really really good 
In terms of the weapons and armor, as I said before, Baldur's Blade is very good. And also, you can kind of do what you want here with the Warden. You are going to have souls coming out everywhere. So you'll be able to go and get whatever resources you want from whatever vendors you want and craft whatever armor you want. So if you want fire, shock, or ice resistance, you can just go and get it. It really is the merchant class and you can just go and buy whatever you want, you want for materials. Just a point to note, the vendors sell whatever biome they're in. So if you want, for example, yarn, you need to go to the beach. If you want werewolf fangs, you need to go to the desert. You need to match up those biomes. The gameplay loop is pretty simple for the warden. You just go out there and because you have no durability, you don't have to revisit your village as much. Make sure to protect your tree, obviously, but you can just go out and have a ton of fun with this class. It's a very, very strong class. I do really like it. But for me, the seer just shades it. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch. We stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.